A large majority uh, of new patients we see uh, come to CHL from all over the world uh, because they were turned away uh, by colleagues uh, for high FSH or, or other reasons. FSH increases as women get older and therefore to assume that what represents a normal FSH level uh, for young women, let's say for a 21-year-old, uh, is the same as what represents a normal FSH level for a 43-year-old, simply does not make sense. Yet that is how uh, medicine and our specialty has been proceeding for the last 30 years. Uh, when you have a universal cutoff and you say FSH up to 10 is normal for everybody, that's what you're basically saying. And we therefore, a few years ago, established what we called age-specific FSH levels. And we therefore, today in our practice, use those to determine whether a woman has normal ovarian reserve or not. There is no one level of FSH where pregnancy becomes impossible. It all depends how old the patient is. The younger the patient, the higher FSH levels will she tolerate. Uh, in other words, the younger the patient, the better our chances will be to still achieve pregnancy with use of a woman's own eggs even if her FSH is high. Therefore, if a woman in her 20s has an FSH in the 20s, not great, but she still likely will end up conceiving, at least at CHR, with our treatment approach. The same high FSH level in a 43 or 44 year old is much more ominous. Therefore, what represents a maximum FSH level is relative, depending on the age and other surrounding factors. Approximately one-third of women who come to us because they were told that uh, their only chance of pregnancy is through donor eggs, uh, leave us pregnant with the use of their own eggs. Uh, so. Uh, a, a minority, but still a quite significant uh, portion of patients uh, with very, very poor uh, ovarian reserve and usually quite high FSH with appropriate treatment at CHR will still have a very decent uh, pregnancy chance. That obviously leaves approximately two thirds who indeed will end up needing donor eggs. But for that one third, it makes one hell of a difference.